Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to insert the audio sound effects into iCloud 8 3D animation software such like the WAV or MP3. Sometimes we just need the sound effect, sometimes we need to insert a music, and sometimes we just need a sound effect just at the timeline. For example, at here, you want to insert an explosion sound, and at here, you want to insert just another sound effect. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Right now, first I have some of the sample audio. This is just for demo for this tutorial. For example, I have this. Right, another one. Here. All right, so now how are we going to insert into the icons? And the first step, what you need to do is just go to window workplace standard right then under here you go to the props then go to the set sorry go to the prop we need to go to the prop and then just go to the 3d block here then scroll down we choose the one that's have the less poly faces, the less faces, lesser triangle. Just drag and drop into the scene. Then next, we can just go to go to your audio. Just drag any of it. For example, this. Alright, try first. Alright, you drag and drop into this. Then you pause it back to here. Then you turn on the timeline. For this one, you go to the scene, all right. You, you also can direct go to the window workplace for animations. Then close this. We no need the curve editor. Then this is the box drawer one. We just right, sorry. We just need to find out, click here, take the sound and the rest, the animations transform and collect clips we know we donate this right then go to here to zoom zoom in to fit to the window now we can see this is the whole timeline when you try to play this is exactly the sound try to play right now so at the timeline you already insert at the front let's say if you want to just make it at here, you can just direct drag it. So when you try to play from the beginning, the sound effect there will just start from this frame. Right, you can move it, try to play. It is at here. Until here it will stop. This is the whole sound effect. And of course, you can just insert more if you want. For example, this one. You have to point at a certain timeline. For example, point at here. Then, go to your explorer here. Then, drag it. Drag and drop to here. Then, you can move it. You can see here, you insert one, one of the sound. Then, it will be at here. What about if you want to cut short it? If you want to cut it, you can just move move your mouse cursor to just make a certain point, just right click it, and then just click break. Then once you break, you can see you can separate it. Let's say if you just want to have this part, then this one you can press delete button to delete it. So at here, at this time, timeline, you can see you already cut it short and you can move it as well. Now you have two. What about if you want it to be overlap here? What will happen? You cannot direct overlap like this. Otherwise, it will disappear from there. So what you can do is just go to, just go to the window, workplace again, go back to the standard. For example, just now, this is box 001. You better right click and rename it. 
double click then you can just rename this as sound 01 then double click it set as dummy because when you try to render your video you don't want to see this it is just a source of the sound when you try to play you just want to hear the sound effect you don't want to see that cube exists in your scene what about like just now I, I had said if you want to add another sound you have to go to there again drag another one then repeat the same process here this go back to the scene this one you rename it as sound 02 alright sound 02 just untick all of this then just call out the sound like this so that you can edit it now this one set as dummy as well when you check from the scene you can just select it from here the dummy is there the sound 02 dummy is here so this is one of the sound if you want to have another channel of the sound it will be at sound 02 to make it overlap you can just add another sound for example the piano at here then you drag it right now it is here so when you try to click like this you can see the first channel is sound 01 at here the sound 02 channel you can move it it doesn't affect with each other it can overlap at here let's say you want this sound effect the game block sound effect overlap together with the sound with the piano so you try to play from here actually they are together So, if you, you try to cut it, you can just right click and break. It is really easy. Like just now, if you break it, then you can separate it. If you control Z, you can undo it. You will merge together back. Alright. It is really simple for this tutorial, how to insert the sound. Sometimes you just want to insert a music. Sometimes you just want to ins insert a sound effect, like explosions, the things falling down, or like whistle just insert any of the audio from the WAV or MP3 into the timeline then in this tutorial I also already show you how to edit how to loop alright not yet show you how to loop if you want to loop you just move your mouse cursor here drag like this it will loop like this if you try to play you can see it loop Right, it loop. If you want to cut the loop, you can just move it back. It will back to the original. If you want to loop the whole sound effect, you can just loop like this. It is really easy, really easy done. So I I also already show you how to loop and how to cut it, how to edit it, how to drag on the timeline at certain time positions you want to play that audio. Everything already done in this tutorial. You can have this to perform. A better video with the sound effect directly and everything is just in iClone 8 3D animation software without involving the third party software like the video editing software. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you!